hey guys, welcome to a Pokemon Shield, but it's a Wonderlock. Um, if you haven't seen my Pokemon Ultra Sun Wonderlock, the rules I will explain right now. The rules are basically Nuzlocke rules, but in this case we don't nickname our Pokemon because you can't because you got them from Wonder Trade. Or, no, we, we can nickname them, right? I think we can nickname them once as... We can nickname them once as long as they're not from Machamps.com, I think. But that won't matter because they're nicknamed anyway. Machamps.com anyway. Um... If you don't know uh, Nuzlocke rules, you can only catch the first Pokemon you encounter on each route. If the Pokemon faints, it's considered dead, and you can't use it. And you can't use it anymore. So those are the two simple rules. I am probably missing more rules. You must nickname them. I'm pretty sure those are all the rules. So let's get right into it. So. These are all of mine. So, the original trainer, all three of these original trainer is me. So let's trade these Pokemon and start the Wonderlock. And this is it, the this is it, the account that has access to Wonder Trading, obviously. Because I paid for it uh, last year, I think. No, not even last year. I paid for it, like, when Sword and Shield came out. So. I didn't get access to... And obviously, it doesn't matter what my counter is. Since we're just going to trade it anyway. Uh, A brown thing. Where are these Pokemon? Go to one of these. Oh, notes. Okay. Give me a note with these. Bro, where are these Pokemon? Oh, there it is. And I do have the expansion pack. Both of the expansion packs. So I do have Isle of the Armor and um I always forget the name of it. Crown Tundra, I think. So I do have both the Crown Tundra and Isle of Armor. Um, I'll obviously get encounters in the Isle of Armor since those are the earliest, like, real low-level Pokemon you could get. I don't know what to nickname these Pokemon, so I just nickname them random things. Piggy. Oh, where's the Wonder Tree going already? I am connected to the internet. I am. Oh, I'll we'll, we'll figure something out. Um, gotta get to Mato Stoke. Which is where the opening ceremony is that no one cares about, right? So, yeah, we'll head up down to Mato Stoke over there. Stop. They did all this. I don't care. Oh my god. I literally just picked up a note in that same exact spot, didn't I? Um, <clears throat> question of the day. I might have already asked to this in one of my other videos. <laughs> but question of the day, what's your favorite starter Pokemon? Mine is definitely Mudkip, you know, because 
I don't know, I just really like Mudkip. And the reason why that I'm probably not getting anything, any trade partners quickly, um, sorry, I was just really surprised that my very first Wonder Trade was an Axu. Um, but I'm probably not, um, getting any Wonder Trade partners quickly because, you know, Scarlet, Scarlet and Violet just came out in November last year. So probably because of Scarlet and Violet. You gotta be kidding me. It won't obey me. That sucks. But I am going to keep the Pokemon that don't obey me. Um, just because, you know, I will benefit from them later, so why not keep them? But still, I'm not adding it to my team unless I get the badge that actually makes it so it obeys me. <laughs> Which I always have trouble remembering. Um, what badge corresponds to level 60 obeying me. You can't select a Pokemon in your party. Oh, forgot about that. No. Okay. So we want to get Piggy and UFO in the box, apparently. Just one more, one more step. And then James Pond, um, Sobble. I think I'm going to keep on the team until I get a Pokemon that will actually, that will actually either obey me or a Pokemon that's not level one. Or, or a Pokemon that's not level one, at least level 10, at least level 10. Just because, you know, wild Pokemon and trainers and other things. Okay, that, that was quick. I just want to make it the easiest I can on myself. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do about... If I get Pokemon, like, that I just traded, because I traded Grubbin for Axu. But I'm, I can keep it as long as it's not my original trainer, original trainer name. And you only... I'm gonna keep it. Because I like Vicavolt. It's the only bug type I like. Um, so I'm going to keep that, and then let's get rid of you. I really, I really like, uh, Wonderlocks. I don't know why, I just really do. This is new encounter, Daple Pro. Um, but... Wonderlock is my favorite type of Nuzlocke or self-imposed challenge. Is, I don't know, Wonderlocks are cool and... Level 15? I'm not catching this, I'm failing my opponent. Level 15 might be hard to catch. So, Deepwood Grove, I failed my opponent. Oh, I didn't notice. Okay. What did you got for us, Ada? For my little bug. Uh, <laughs> that, that was kind of funny. I traded the first evolution for its final evolution. Um, it most likely will not obey me, right? Oh, 36. Not that bad. Okay. But still, it's not going to obey me until who knows when, right? Fusion, Bug Bars, Psychics, I mean... These are really good modes. They're like Psychic. 
But then again, I don't like having two of the same types on my team. And then we'll have Frubbin and um Grubbin and Orbeetle on my team at the same time. Which I don't wouldn't like. I'm just gonna keep Grubbin on my team since I know that it obeys me. Do I wanna risk trading away trading away um Sabo? No, I'll train up Grubbin like a couple levels, I guess, and then I'll trade away Sabo. So where's this? I can never find um the place that I need to go. I can never find Motto Stoke for some reason. I do have to be careful about Pokemon like. Pangaro and Beware. I don't want to risk losing another encounter, so not catch any more Pokemon on this route. And you know what? I guess I will actually. I guess I will actually um risk getting a low level Pokemon or a Pokemon that won't obey me for my starter uh right now i'm just gonna keep you in the box or beetle just because you know i don't like having two bug types two of the same types on my team i wouldn't like having grub and nan for beetle on my team at the same time so yeah i guess i'll trade sabo oh, i have to put sabo in the box why do they make it so hard? Like, remember an Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon? Like... They made it so easy to trade a Pokemon that was in your party. Um... I think it's the same way as in Scarlet and Violet. You can't trade a Pokemon in your party, I think. Or surprise trade a Pokemon in your party, I think. Um, but like I said, I am going to eventually do a Wonderlock, like, as soon as I am going to do a Wonderlock in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet as soon as as soon as uh, Pokemon Home supports Scarlet, Scarlet and Violet. Okay, I'm not complaining. Even though I don't like rock types, but. I think it's a rock type. That's not even in, oh. It's in a Scarlet and Violet deck, right? Let's see what level it is. 25, okay. So I'm pretty sure Grubbin is the only Pokemon that will obey me. I do like Steel types though. Yeah, I do like Steel types, okay. So go Rock Tune. Oh, it has Iron Head? Okay. Put Iron Head. Tackle and protect. Krubbin is the only Pokemon that will obey me, I think. Um, so maybe I will risk losing another encounter right here. But I'm pretty sure, pretty sure the, did I get an encounter here? No. I'm pretty sure that Scarlet and Violet will support Pokemon Home um, in spring, I think. I'm not sure what month. What month? All I know is that it's gonna support it sometime in spring. 
So I'm pretty excited for that. I'm surprised that didn't oak up. So I'm excited for that because then I can actually post a Scarlet and Violet on Wonderlock to YouTube. Because I can't do it now because obviously I'd have to res reset my game. In Scarlet, I have one one shiny Pokemon. I have a shiny Heracross, which I don't want to get rid of. And then in uh, Vi Violet, I did complete the Pokedex, so I do have the shiny charm, and I do have like four, three or four shiny Pokemon, which I obviously don't want to restart the game. Because then my shiny charm would be gone and all those shinies would be gone. I named my I named my Paldean Wooper Pooper. Cause it's pooper. It's brown. It's brown. Even though uh Wooper is Johnsonian Wooper or whatever Chen this thing was in there but It doesn't look like poop, but I still name it Pooper. Despise it not being poop. Uh, what do you guys nickname your whoopers? Really, look, Jesus is trading, guys. Jesus, oh my god, it's Jesus. This is also a new encounter, I think. I'm not sure, though, so I'm not gonna get any encounter here just yet. Oh my god, shut up. No one cares. Um, and you guys only want to see the trading part, right? Not any- I mean, I will, like, do the major battles. Like, Marnie, Bead, Hop, and then obviously the Gym Rangers. Um. And then I will not post another part of the series. Maybe I will- Maybe I will tomorrow, but I do have school, and then something comes up after school tomorrow. But I know for sure on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, I probably will not will not have time to post another thing, another episode to the series because I do have a musical rehearsal. Which runs until 6, I think. 6 p.m. I don't know time zone, so... I don't know what time zone I'm in, and I don't know what time zone my viewers are in. Because, you know... Oh, yes! I really love that Pokemon! Thank you! Yes, I'm so excited! Okay. This is huge. Yes. Um, but on Friday, Sunday, and Saturday, I, I will post for sure. Oh my god, it's level one, yes. It will actually obey me. So yeah, I'm gonna end the video here. I guess Prankster is good. Okay, thank you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe or don't and like the video or don't and goodbye